Uh, then they did something that I didn't think was possible and I never believed I'd see. They found a way to make the Briscoe family seem phony. They go to the Briscoe's Chicken Farm in Sandy Fork, Delaware. It's Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, Sanjay Dutt, and Zippy the Giant Pinhead. They go to Mark Briscoe's house and knock on the door and tell it they're trying to get in good with him. Because Mark, the story is Mark and Jay Lethal have been lifelong, not lifelong, but longtime friends. They're close. So now, Mark doesn't know whether to trust Jeff or Dutt or whatever. The point is, they, they knock on Mark's door and tell him that they're there to help work on the farm, and they're all wearing overalls. And Sanjay doing his goofy comedy. And the zippies in giant overalls. And... They did silly video clips where they're chasing chickens. And then Papa Briscoe comes in. And he tells Mark, Jay's all right, but don't trust those others. Keep an eye on those idiots. Which ones? That's what I was saying. It was done not only as comedy, but also it's the first time Ring of Honor's been with the camera to the Briscoe's farm many times. Everybody saw the promos that they used to do out there. Papa Briscoe, what a believable fucking guy he is. And they, the way this was shot and presented and the goofy comedy way that they went about it, it's the first time I've ever seen the Briscoe family where they looked phony because they were in a phony situation with people acting phony. And they, 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 I mean, it's not like that he's going to be able to ever capitalize on the amazing chance he had to make Mark Briscoe a single star. That window is closed again. And it'll never open to that extent ever again. So he dropped that right in his fucking toilet. But now he has to diminish them rather than building Mark up because they don't know what they're doing and they think everything's a goddamn joke. I've made my point here. Anything for you to add? I really hated this. Now, I did see a lot of feedback from people who loved it. What? The people who like the kind of comedy stuff on wrestling that there is, they really like this. And there's a lot of people that have loved the Jeff Jarrett run because they see stuff like this, like, yeah, he's really great now. No, he's, he's embarrassing me that I've said good, so many good things about him because he's not... He's not bringing the young kids up to his level. He's sinking to theirs. He's like an Uncle Dave in the ring now. Instead of saying, here, I can teach you. This is the way you do these things and that things. Here's how you book. Here's how you do an angle. Here's how you figure a finish. Whatever the fuck. He's out there assing off chasing chickens with a bunch of bad comedians. And Sanjay's unbearable at this point. Get him off TV. Just get him off TV. And, you know, the thing is, like, one of my favorite things ever is the death of the Bruce Brothers and the introduction of the new Fabulous Ones. On its face, it's really silly. Jimmy Hart comes out on TV with Lance Russell and immediately says the Bruce Brothers have passed away. The audience gets silent. Yeah. They don't laugh about this. He says the Bruce Brothers have passed away. Here's a news video. And then there's a video that on its face is ridiculous. Jimmy Hart and Joe LaDuke and a woman covering her face going into a funeral home and they're the only people there, but there was nothing silly about it. The idea was silly, but they shot it seriously. They go back to the studio. Jimmy Hart says it's been such a bad day, but behind every dark cloud, there is a silver lining. It starts to hit Lance Russell that something's going on and they go to the music video of the new Fabulous Ones. Again, you want to talk about something that, as an idea, is completely ridiculous. Pork chop cash and dream machine in bow ties yeah. and jackets and top hats. And then in the bathtub. And eventually in the bathtub, too. But they played it seriously. They didn't do any jokes in that video. The joke itself was the video. Yeah. They didn't ham it up. They didn't have they to. Didn't, they didn't put a hat on a hat. No. It was funny and it's still funny and it holds up and it worked 
because it wasn't too much. And every attempt at wrestling comedy, because you'll see people say like, oh, well, they did stuff in Memphis, and they did a lot of stuff in Memphis I don't like, especially later on. But wrestling comedy, when it works, it's because it's a part of everything that's happening and it's funny for what it is, not because it's an attempt to be funny. And this was an attempt to be funny. You talk about the missed opportunity with Mark Briscoe. Listen, MJF right now has no opponent. There's the missed opportunity. They could have spent a few months building up Mark Briscoe for MJF. Imagine yeah. MJF cutting promos on the Briscoe family. Ugh. That would have been it. FTR's involved in this. I mean, they weren't involved in this video. But remember, they were like arguing with Jarrett and crew over who's going to be friends with Mark Briscoe. They are the poster boys for missed opportunities in AEW. <laughs> so I didn't like this. I think they're wasting Mark Briscoe. I think it's a waste of using Papa Briscoe for the first time on AEW TV in this way. I think Jeff Jarrett's been really impressive in the ring. But his manager at ringside has to go. Hasn't done anything to help Jay Lethal, but that's almost a lost cause. The giant still makes no sense. He's there for no reason. It's just a generic, random giant. He's there so they'll watch the YouTube videos in India. Which I don't even know if that's really happened. But no, this wasn't well, good. And for everyone, the, the people in India are going, why are we looking at our countrymen wearing overalls and a big floppy hat? But for everyone who sees this and you think that this is the kind of wrestling comedy that works, I think it's the opposite. This is the, this is the kind of stuff that if you're really in the bubble, you'll get a kick out of it. And if you're not, you're going to say, this is really silly. I don't want to watch this. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that 30 or 40 years ago, the it would have been, the wrestling fans would have hated it and real wrestlers wouldn't have participated in it. It would have been the shit that they did on Saturday Night Live to make fun of wrestling. And now the only people that like it are the people that are really into business. 